With the birth of LED technology has come major innovations in the world of flashlights. On this episode, we unveil a flashlight as bright as the sun. The LED or light emitting diode is a two lead semiconductor light source, offering a much brighter light at the fraction of the watts required. LEDs are replacing incandescent and compact CFL bulbs. Their low heat emission and size allows them to be packed into places and products with almost no risk of fire. With the invention of LEDs came multiple different iterations such as the Cree XML2, a powerful increase among the world of LEDs. The XML2 was soon outdone by the Cree XPL, an increase in the tech that allowed a higher forward voltage and better efficiency at more lumens per watt. These LEDs produce an even brighter light that makes flashlights of the 1990s look like candlelight. Take another step forward today we have the Cree XPH series of LED which are similar to the XPL except they are quad core. This multi-chip LED has four connected in a series for either 6 volt or 12 volt output versus the single chip's 3 volt output. While sucking more power, these LEDs when put in a flashlight produce something truly remarkable. Company Thrunite has hooked me up with one of these flashlights to try out. The best way I thought was to hike deep into the backcountry away from civilization to see what this light can truly do. The light comes with low, medium and high brightnesses that will last up to 2.5 days, 9 hours and 2 hours and 45 minutes respectively. It also has a firefly mode which is very energy efficient and will last up to 41 days straight. Getting to the good stuff though, aside from the low, medium and high, there's another setting called turbo and turbo strobe. Turbo is as bright as this light goes dishing out 1700 lumens for up to 2.5 hours, where strobe will run for 3 hours. On turbo, the light is too bright to look at and as you can see it can light up the trees on the other side of this lake. Worried about cougars stalking you in the trees? No problem, this light will keep any wild beast away. I've actually taken this flashlight on numerous hiking trips and is now my number one safety tool. Living in Canada, we aren't allowed to have guns, but any wildlife that cares to approach gets a dose of turbo strobe in the face. Even in broad daylight, will the strobe be completely effective? I've personally attached the holster the Catapult V6 comes with to my backpack strap for easy and fast access. The light feels very well built with metal construction and is also USB chargeable for those of you packing power banks. The Catapult has a max beam distance of 2460 feet or 750 meters. It's impact resistant up to about 5 feet or 1.5 meters and is waterproof up to 6.5 feet or 2 meters. All in flashlight case and battery, it weighs 315 grams for those of you who are backpackers. There's only one button which remembers the last brightness setting used being low, medium or high, which is changed by a push and a hold. Turbo on the other hand is accessed by double tapping, where strobe is accessed by double tapping twice. I don't know if it's intentional, but not only does the battery door unscrew, but so does the chamber that connects to the light. I'm guessing this allows one to add an extended handle or maybe a bigger battery compartment, but if you unscrew the top chamber just slightly, it will prevent the light from turning on which is useful when you don't want it to accidentally be on, like in your backpack when you're driving to the mountain. If you want to look at the specs further and check it out there's a link in the description below. 